Welcome back. Well, if you are looking for a signature taste, in fact, if you're looking for a signature salt, look no further than WBM. I'm here with Monique. And Monique, I tell you what, very impressed with what you have going on here. We're cooking on a block of salt. Tell us a little bit about what's going on. Yeah, exactly that. We have a block of salt. This is Himalayan pink salt, healthiest salt in the world, 84 trace minerals, all the same minerals your body uses, manganese and, and, and iron and copper. Um, and so what we're doing is treating the block of salt like a pan. Once you heat this up, you're going to temper it up, heat it up nice and slowly, um, and then you just put your food on it. No salt needed beforehand, no seasoning needed. So as the moisture of the food hits the salt, it dissolves the salt and then picks up that seasoning. Wow. And it's just robust and it's delicious. Well, I had a piece of steak earlier and I must tell you, it was out of this world, mouth-watering. And it looks like we're going to be uh, sampling all kinds of different things. Oh, you nice. have uh, veggies, steak, um, and something like this I could even put on my grill at home, is that right? Put it on any heat source that you have. So on your grill, in your oven, on top of the stove top, um, really any heat source, of course, and not induction, but any other heat source. And you can cook anything on this. I've fried eggs on these, I've done hamburgers, I do pizzas on top of them. I actually even use them to pickle cucumbers as well. That is something. Now, uh, for restaurateurs out there, this it will give them a signature taste, but also there's almost like an entertainment uh, value in there if you can put it out where they can see the chef cooking. Absolutely. We've got pizza places doing these. We've got steak places doing them. I've got sushi places that are chilling the block and actually serving sashimi on top of them. Um, people are drawn to this. You could use the word uh, gimmick if you wanted to, but honestly, when somebody sees this, it's like, wait, wait, what is this? I want to check this out. I mean, because you're actually seasoning food right on, on top of something that, or from something that you're cooking on. So we've got steak places serving their steaks right on top of the block so people can kind of sop up a as much salt as they want so it works awesome um, in, in the application of food service. Now a uh, Himalayan chef here offering the salt blocks but WBM offering all kinds of salt different grains uh, large to small whatever a chef might need. Yeah, we can really help you with ever, whatever those needs are. We've got a whole bevy of different products back here. We're working with spices. We've got things like turmeric, um, anything there that you need. Uh, we can actually season up different uh, herbs in your salts too. Um, and let's not forget that we dry, we do the salt for dry aging rooms as well. Yeah, I noticed that is in the back there. So that's really going to be cool. Now, uh, important once again to point out that not all salts are created equal. When we're talking about the healthiest we can get, we're talking minerals that our body really needs. 84 trace minerals in the Himalayan pink salt, right? We're talking manganese and magnesium and, and copper and uh, iron and, and all of those. So you're getting all these great trace minerals. I think the other thing that's really important when we think about Himalayan pink salt, you know, it's coming from the earth. Um, right now, when we think about sea salts, which, which I do like, but they don't have as many minerals in them, we also have to be very careful about the seas you're getting them from because our seas are getting very polluted these days. Wow. So you have to be very careful about the sourcing of those things. We don't have that problem when we deal with the pink Himalayan salts. Um, it's a more robust flavor. You get, to, you, uh, you get more flavor and you can use less of it. Well, uh, I tell you what, we have a salt that's safe, a salt that's really going to give us some trace minerals that we need, and a salt that we can actually even cook on. And with that said, Monique, right now I know you have to have the attention. All of our viewers out there, what's the best way for them to learn more about Himalayan Chef and all that they have to offer? A website? I'd say come to our website. Um, you'll find Himalayan Chef is actually one of our subsidiary brands. We are WBM, and you can find us on our website, HimalayanChef.com. From there, we can learn about everything that you have to offer and the signature taste that I can develop for my restaurant. Absolutely. I'll even work with you on that. Could be <laughs> ice cream on a cold block. Easy enough. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you.